Well, hello to all my friends. Today you are with me again as always. In this video, I will take everyone to see the legendary demonic monster. I have to reiterate that the pictures that I brought for everyone to see in this video or other videos in my channel. I will try to find the image that is closest to the content, which in some cases or videos, it may not match the content. I also have to apologize. Most importantly, using judgment and using imagination is the most important thing in watching Mr. Sissy's channel. In order not to waste time, let's look at 5 legendary giant demon monsters. Let's see which one is interesting or how cute and scary. Let's start with the 5th place first. Number 5 Scylla and Charybdis The sea monsters of Scylla and Charybdis This is a monster that lives in the Strait of Messina on the island of Sicily, where there is a huge vortex named Charybdis. It is said that this place will have a trend that has a lot of large and large streams that come into this area, sinking under the bottom of the water, and if any boat is trying to sail away from the lip bid, crashed into a rock called Scylla and sank as well. Many people wonder how this event happened. According to the legend, it says that at the point where the ship passed and disappeared in the past, this area used to be the habitat of two monsters, Scylla and Charybdis, which I have mentioned, these two monsters have a very fierce character. It is thirsty, it likes to catch people regularly. The history of Scylla has many, but the most famous is said that Scylla, who is a monster, at the top, used to be a beautiful woman. Said she was Poseidon's grandson or wife, and Scylla was also a favorite of many people. Because she is a cute, beautiful, and beautiful face and her face, it makes someone jealous of her. A hunter who is more beautiful than her, she cannot afford to have anyone more beautiful than her is impossible. She cursed Scylla into a monster twelve feet tall with six small heads, a neck like a snake, head like a dog as seen in the picture. This may be a simulation, use your imagination. And when she becomes a monster, she wanders around to find a place to hide at the cliff and she lives together, catching fish or other sea creatures for food. As well as trap the boat that traveled around, causing many boats alone, avoiding Scylla. But did you know that only the mother did not avoid the side of Charybdis? Wan Nam Wang anyway, by this monster, not far from the monster Scylla, so simply say that it is close to each other. By the poison of this demon, it uses the method of absorbing water and dehydration from the narrow channel, resulting in the most terrifying whirlpool palace. This means choosing two paths, each of which will end badly and equally bad if it's a friend. What to choose between Scylla or Whirlpool? Number 4 Kraken Octopus In the myths believed to exist, the Kraken is a mythical creature. It is said that it resembles an enormous squid. It has a body longer than the mast of a ship. It has many long, collapsing tentacles and can wrap itself around a huge ship. Many rounds comfortably it has a mustache with a large suction button, wrapped around the boat, and squeezed until the bones were scary horrible before it was put into a large round mouth with a sharp fawn-like blade. Pirates of the Gabriel Part 2 and you will see this giant squid attacking the ship as well. I do not know exactly when the legend of the Kraken began, but the first evidence was recorded in a book in Norway where they said that in the book it was described that this octopus was as big as a small island. At once, it's more than half the length, plus when attacking, it tends to appear quietly. Before you know it, its tentacles have already attacked the ship, and it is the creature that sank the giant ship in just a few minutes. The Kraken has the most truth because it has a species of squid called Archidiotis, or simply known as the octopus. It is a living animal on this planet. Although it is not as big as the legendary island that has been said, it is considered very big, which is the same size as the bus. It has a beak with sharp teeth like a parrot with a total body weight of 2 to 3 tons. Do not ask if it can eat people, because the body size is so big that eating alone would not be full. And besides, this monster has a fierce nature as well. In the record of encounters with the Kraken octopus, although it is not often found, it is counted as many. Similarly, in 1878, three fishermen found a huge octopus carcass not far from shore. They tried to haul it ashore but they found that some of it was needed alive, so they left it to dry. 
on land until, certainly, it is not dangerous, then it measures its size, which measures 20 feet in length and the longest tentacle is 35 feet long. It has four sharp fangs. In 1930, a 15,000 ton Norwegian oil tanker reported three attacks of large fish, with the most serious one reporting that it swam along the ship and tried to use its tentacles. Around the ship too luckily, the propeller teeth were in contact with the thresher and its body before it could slip. It is assumed that the reason it attacked the ship was because the ship was shaped like a rival sperm whale. In 1960, two lighthouse workers in South Africa witnessed a horrific fight between an octopus and a sperm whale. They reported that the octopus attacked the whale first, with the battle lasting over half an hour and ending with the octopus victorious. And in 1965, Soviet whaling crews witnessed the octopus fighting a large, mature whale. The result is that neither side wins. The strap of the tentacles and the giant squid's head were bitten into the whale, which even died. Both of the most shocking events about the Ken or the giant squid occurred when the Second World War attacked two British small ships and captured the sailors and devoured the hungry rubber hulls. Its mystery and brutality led to the creation of a scientific team to seriously study its story in February 1999. After a group of U.S. scientists researched the giant squid for 30 days, they concluded that they like to live in deep water where the temperature is very low. It likes to flow along the currents. The cause of it being ferocious is that when it floats, it will encounter warm water. Its life will have a problem and need to float on the surface for a long time, causing it to be stressful, which can be observed. From where an octopus has been seen attacking ships, it is often where cold and warm currents intersect. So it makes it frustrating because it can't adjust itself in time. Number 3 Manticore This monster is a hybrid of humans and sharp-toothed beasts, and its name comes from the Persian Manticore, which means man-eater and people of ancient Asia knew it. In the second century, a Roman historian described the horrors of the Mantico from tales that date back more than 700 years before that in India there were wild beasts with the power of the most frightening, it has the largest shape, like the largest lion, it has a red hair, rough hair like a dog. However, its face is not an animal. Instead, it was a human face with three rows of upper teeth and three lower rows of teeth, which were sharp and larger, longer than a hound's canines. And only coarse fur. Its eyes are blue-gray, similar to human eyes, but its claws and claws are like lions. The tip of its tail, that is, the scorpion's tail, can be over 18 inches long, and at the tip of the tail, there is a stinger that can instantly sting people deadly. It can release a sting that looks like an arrow and can fire. Can travel several meters, and when it releases its sting, it will roll its tail, and any animal that hits the manticore's sting will instantly die. According to the legends, the manticore was one of the magical beasts of the magical world that were extremely dangerous. It possessed great speed, but it was not classified as a high-class magical beast as its violent tendencies were far too high. There is evidence indicating that it prefers to live in Asian countries such as Indonesia, India, and Malaysia. As for the shape of the manticore, as seen in the picture, one of the magic things about this monster is its skin. It is famous for its anti-magic, making each killing difficult because the wizard is not able to dance in the fight with it at all. The legend goes on to say that in 1296 there was a manticore. One was seriously injured, but no one volunteered to save the magical beast as no one dared to come within two meters of it. Number 2 Cerberus Three-Headed Dog Demon Cerberus is a creature in Greek mythology. It is shaped like a huge black dog with three heads. The end of the side is a snake, and in some myths, it is said to be a dragon. It is responsible for guarding the way down to hell in front of the entrance door. It will allow everyone's souls to enter the door. But will not allow it to come back out, the mother of Cerberus is a monster named Athena. The sister of the previous three Akina has a beautiful appearance only in the upper part, but the lower part is a huge gigantic snake before the birth of Cerberus. Lady Gina then has a relationship with a monster named Typhon. Typhon and Akina's children are all fierce and cute monsters. Number 1 Emuki 
The giant monster that you see now is a giant snake according to the legend of Korea. It is believed that it was a child of the dragon, which looked. I think the dragon is more likely but in ancient times, it says that it has lived in the water and the cave for survival for a thousand years. What's more, we only know that this monster or this snake was made into a Dragon Wars movie. According to Korean myths, there is a mystical legend involving the spirit of a creature known as the Amyuki, a giant snake that lives in deep waters. A being that combines the powers of many different animal races with the power to change its own body by employing a powerful pearl can. Turning snakes into dragons and considering this pearl to be a powerful pearl that can inspire all desires is the plot of this film. Surely in the real world today there are no monsters. This giant snake, of course, but if it was in the past then this giant snake may exist, it is not certain, it may be behind you. The Strange Giant Demon, which is a synopsis and is a story that should use discretion when watching. I would like everyone to enjoy. For any friends, what are their opinions? About this subject, you can comment below this video or if you like it, press like and share. As for what the next video will be, do not forget to press the subscribe button so that you will not miss new video clips from Mr. Sissy for today. Bye bye.